Yesterday I was asked to make this tutorial, so here we go. This is going to be a video about uh, zoom on hover for Cargo Collective website. I'll show you how to apply this effect uh, to our images organized in columns like these ones, how to apply it to a single image and how to deal with image galleries. And at the end of the video I'll show you how to restrict this function on mobile uh, because yeah, that's how we can prevent uh, some issues. Okay, let's start. Here we have an empty page and I've already uploaded some images. Let's first deal with column structure. So I drag and drop image and then I click these columns and that's how I can create this layout. And I think you know how to do that, but just in case. And you can uh, adjust it however you want, it doesn't matter. Here we need to disable zoom first. And uh, when I select an image and then I click this picture icon, I can disable zoom on click. So yeah, we need to do that because otherwise it would be kind of weird to have uh, zoom on hover and zoom on click, but you can check how it looks anyway. So yeah, uh, but I'd better d disable it first. So this is our structure. And if you open code view, uh, you will see something like that. It might be more complicated depending on your content, how uh, many elements do you have, but the point is that uh, your images are these gray elements. So this is your first image, this is your second image, you just need to find them. Uh, it starts with a curly brace and it ends with a curly brace and it always wrapped into a div tag. So this is a beginning on, of a div tag and this is the end. Here we have some custom attributes and here we have a class with empty value and here we don't have a class, but it doesn't matter actually. So uh, yeah. We need to add class here. So uh, I'm gonna use uh, name hover images, but you can create any other name, just use some um, simple words without any numbers or uh, like signs, anything uh, like hover images. And also I usually avoid using some sim too simple names uh, like image, just image, just to prevent uh, some issues if Cargo has this class uh, itself. So I don't think they have this class, so that's why I, I can use it easily. Okay, uh, nothing has changed because uh, we haven't done anything. Uh, our class is still here. And then go to CSS and start creating um, hover effect. To call a class, you need uh, first type dot and then the class name, hover images, then make some space, image, hover, like that, and open curly braces. And inside of them, you need to say transform, scale, and the value, I'm gonna use 1.5, but you can use any other values. Uh, let's say two is gonna be even larger but I think I proceed with 1.5. Okay, now it's ready, but you can see now that uh, we also need to define the position and we cannot use the same position for each elements. We have, uh, in our case, we have uh, three types of elements. This element is uh, like top left corner element. This is a center top element and this element is, mm, well, uh, top right corner element and uh, so we need to add three more different classes to define three different positions let's go back to our uh, html part you again and uh, here we need to add more classes to add a class in a class list you need to separate them with some space and here you can start typing well i'm gonna call our classes uh, hover left hover center and hover right the first image is hover left uh, I can say hover top left, but they're all going to be top, so uh, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, hover center. This one, I can copy this class and add it here. And the last one is hover right. Okay, it's ready. And then go back to your CSS. Let's start with first class hover left. Don't forget this part, open curly braces and uh, we're going to use transform origin here and the value is going to be top left. 
let's check how it looks. And now you see that if I hover this image, this part stays at the same position and our image moves in the right direction. Okay, let's copy and use the second class, hover center, and the value is gonna be uh, top center. And also let's make them a little bit bigger. I can copy this part and uh, redefine it here. Yeah, now uh, you see that it affects only these two elements. And also it changed the value because all uh, next rule redefine the previous rule in our situation. So that's how it works. And the last part is for hover right. Yeah, okay, now uh, all of them uh, works correctly. And you can notice that uh, they change immediately, but uh, if you want to make it smooth, I can show you some possible um, solution and some also some issues you can face uh, with this solution. This is an example where images change smoothly and uh, uh, you need to use transition to create something like that. You can read about it in the internet, just CSS property transition. But uh, if you hover edges of these images, you can see uh, this issue. So yeah, if I hover close to the borders, it goes like that. And that's why I don't cover this way uh, in my video and it's much better to just use this instant scaling. And also I'm sure that there are other ways how to deal with this animation and how to create it without this problem. But uh, in this video I just want to cover the easiest solution using transform scale. That's why uh, we're not gonna be talking about this smooth change. Now you know uh, why it's better to use instant animation. And also uh, I showed you how to work with these columns, but let's uh, do the same for a single image. Uh, first, let's move it out of our grid structure. It's gonna be like that and also add some scaling. Uh, yeah, so it goes after this one i can add some breaks it doesn't matter and go to our code view so this is our uh, single image it's not wrapped into any tag and we just need to add div tag this is the beginning of the tag and this is the end of the tag and here we need to add class i'm going to use uh, the same class as i used for top left image but you can also create one more class for this image because uh, it has different layout and that's how it looks but uh, note that actually we need to define it to button because it goes down and we have no scrolling here i cannot scroll down uh, to see the end of this image and this is like one more issue but if you change uh, this hover left button property, uh, you can fix that. So you just need to uh, create one more class. Let's copy the last one. Left button and change the value to button left. Yeah, uh, actually this is a um, one more problem we have with this solution. Uh, let me refer to the page and we cannot uh, know how large the screen of uh, our user will be. So sometimes these images can be cut. So that's why I, can, I recommend you to not use large scaling. And uh, uh, as I told you, there are other ways how to create this effect and how to uh, make it more professional. But once again, this is the fastest solution. So just uh, keep in mind that your user is gonna see this, uh, your website on different screens uh, with different ratio and different sizes. And that's why, um, do not use too large scaling. Okay, uh, this part is ready. And uh, also the last thing is image galleries. Deal with the last part uh, with image galleries. Uh, I've already removed uh, the single image from the previous part. So 
uh, let's add one more image. We need to add it outside our column structure and also maybe some add some space. Uh, note that you need to uh, make breaks not inside these columns but before these elements or outside the column structure. This is a common mistake because people usually uh, add some space here because um, this is like looks pretty the same on desktop but on mobile it's going to be this gap is going to be uh, between the first and the second element so it's not correct way how to do that so be careful okay uh, uh, our first image is ready we can disable zoom and we can enable gallery mode and add some more images I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller like that okay this is my image gallery and now if I go to the call view, uh, I will see something like that. This is my the beginning of my image gallery and this is the end of my image gallery. And uh, image gallery always has uh, the class image gallery. And if we add any class here, any custom class, uh, it will be removed by cargo. This is uh, like a problem, but the solution is to wrap this gallery into a new div tag. This is the beginning of the tag and this is the end of the tag. And here we can apply our class and I'm going to copy this hover images. Yeah, now it works, but uh, it's harder to control children element to select each image because we cannot wrap them into tags as we did here. So uh, it's possible to control elements inside this uh, gallery using NTH child nodes, but this is like a little bit tricky and I'm not going to cover this thing in uh, this particular video, but maybe next video I'll make about image galleries. So that's why we cannot uh, apply uh, transform origin for these elements and they're going to behave pretty the same way. Uh, but yeah, this is like how uh, we keep it by now and let's deal with mobile version. We need to restrict this hover for our mobile devices, otherwise it will be looking like that. And well, also on mobile phones, we don't have hover, but we can tab on image accidentally and it can trigger our hover effect. So, well, how to prevent it to happen? We need to use media screen, media screen and max width. 770 pixels. This is a cargo breakpoint. So all devices which goes under this value is going to be our mobile devices. And uh, copy this part and paste it inside of this curly braces. Uh, note that you have two curly braces here. One of them is for this part and second one for this part. This is a common mistake to forget one of them. Okay, and here you need to redefine transform to unset and that's how we can prevent hover for mobile phones but it still will be working for desktop version thank you for watching and follow my channel to get more tutorials about cargo collective and see you on my next videos